Father, we thank you. Your word is good with us. Breathe upon the efficacy of your word. Move upon the infallibility of your counsel. And thank you because in this service I will not be limited by any demonic force or satanic power. Thank you for the preaching of your word. Heal the sick, liberate the captive, and let Jesus be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let God's people shout that amen like a thunder. Provoking supernatural supply part two. Supernatural supply is a provision outside natural sources. It's a supply that cannot be explained rationally. It is the operation that is superior to the natural. Supernatural supply is that physical uninterrupted flow of the Holy Ghost upon our human efforts. Bringing out extraterrestrial results. It is that physical uninterrupted outflow of the Holy Ghost upon man's efforts. Propelling extraterrestrial results. Supernatural supply is God's response on our input when men place demand on the spirit. It is God's response on our input when men place demand on the spirit. When natural men are powered by the spirit, the supernatural becomes the outcome. When natural men are powered by the spirit, supernatural results becomes the outcome. Man will always need supernatural supply. Man will always need supernatural results. That is why today many people have joined the occult to demystify the mysteries that confront them. Because sir, every battle you see is sponsored by a supernatural or by a spiritual machineries. Hear me, that is why people go spiritual. To phantom out what is the mystery behind their battles. What is the mystery behind their affliction. Man, we always need the supernatural. And if you don't know how to command the supernatural, you will be like the widow, the widows that are in Israel. The scripture said in Luke chapter 4 and verse number 27, there were many widows in Israel. But unto none was Elijah said, said unto the woman of Zarephath. The appearance of Elijah in the life of that woman was the touch of the supernatural on her effort. The outcome was women were killing their children to eat. But a woman had a source that is not from this realm. A source that cannot be explained rationally. Because she was connected and wired to the supernatural. That is verse 20, 24 to 26. Then verse 27 said, there were many lepers in Israel. In the days of Elysus. But unto none was Elisha said, said unto Naaman that was a leper. Ladies and gentlemen, many people were leprous. But only a man who had connectivity with the supernatural had a change of story. Everybody was crying of famine. Only the seraphite woman that is wired to a supernatural source that floated above other storms. Here in Nigeria, I've come to the threshold of the end. We have come into a wicked era where the destinies of men have been balkanized. Where businessmen are no more sure of what the future holds. Where our 
tomorrow is blinking. Where today you invest and you lose tomorrow. We are in a time of uncertainty, a time of chaos, a time of perplexity, a time of despondency, catastrophe, and cataclysm. If there is any time we need to rise above the storm, this is the time. And only men who are hooked up to the supernatural can survive in the midst of this wicked condition. That is why I love the bishop. He called it supernatural provision. Because sir, if you rely on the natural, you'll be more rebonic. If you rely on the supernatural, you can't escape the afflictions that follow mortal men. But if your source is supernatural, uh -huh. it's a matter of time. You will not die with that condition. You will not suffer their suffering. Uh -huh. You will not see their pain. Uh -huh. yes, your case is different. Yes, you are not a species of your family tree. Yes, you are not a breed of your family seed. Yes, you will not die like them yes, because you are hooked up to another source. Yes, so your source Supply shall be visible. Amen. Sir, when you see a child that is one year or six months in a church, on the floor inside the church, he didn't got there by his, by his effort. Somebody carried him. My friend, if something has not carried you, you don't have future. The supernatural is the spirit sitting on you to assist you in the realms of the of the natural. I pray for somebody. May you be wired to the supernatural. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So supernatural supply therefore is a spiritual prescription for unpredictable human needs. It is a spiritual prescription for unpredictable human needs. What is supernatural solution? It is heaven salvaging damaging conditions. It is heaven salvaging, damaging conditions, damaging situations, moribonic conditions. What is supernatural solution or uh, 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 supply? It is the demonstration of heavenly interpolation, spiritual engrossment, angelic backing in a contradiction of circumstances. Disparaging evolution, antagonistic inhibition, and unscriptural developments. What is supernatural solution? It is the demonstration of heavenly interpolation. Someone say heavenly interpolation. Say spiritual engrossment. Say angelic backings against every contrary circumstances. Let me hear you say it against, against every contrary conditions. Every contrary condition. Disparaging evolutions. Disparity evolution. Antagonistic inhibitions. Antagonistic inhibitions. And every unscriptural development. And every unscriptural development. What is happening to Nigeria is unscriptural. Yes, sir. It's an unscriptural development. Yes. Sir. What is happening to Nigeria, child of God, is a contradictory circumstances. Mm. Contrary to our expectations. What you need is heavily interpolation. What you need is to be a trafficker of paranormal articles. I pray for somebody tonight. I will see. May you hook up to the source that is mysterious. Amen. Amen. Such that when men are cast down, you shall say, there is, a there is a lifting up. Can I prophesy to somebody? Yes, sir. You will not die like them. Amen. No matter the darkness in our generation, yes. you will not suffer their sufferings. Amen. Can I hear somebody shout that amen like a thunder? Amen. We began to talk about the forces that is required to live a life of supernatural supply. We looked at number one force yesterday. The force of light. I want to progress from there. Light. Light.
light is eternity in manifestation. Light builds heaven in your spirit. Any man that is lighted, heaven is built in his spirit. You are a mobile heaven. So when your atmosphere does not agree with your conviction, you look inward and bring out heaven and deposit it. Light creates the depth of eternity in you. Sir, you are as deep as eternity to the extent of the light you command. Light is a revelation of the depth of eternity in the inside of you. Light unveils the breath of God on you. How much of God's breath you sustain is at the mercy of your light. It is a light. Hear me, sir. The measure of how much of God we host in our spirit is made manifest. Hear me, sir. The entire operations of eternity functions by light. The entire operations of the supernatural functions on, on light. Without light, you'll be bankrupt of the supernatural. Follow me. I want to say some things tonight that the Holy Ghost gave me revelation over. Sir, when light is absent, the workings of the supernatural is paralyzed. Mm. Yes, sir. When light is absent, the workings of eternity is balkanized. Here this are the realm of light is the highest realm of life for the believer. Outside of light, the believer has no life. <laughs> In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word was the same. In the beginning with God, all things were made by him. Without him was not anything made. In him was life, and that life was delight. That life was delight. And the light shines in darkness. And the darkness could not comprehend it. Can I talk to you, sir? Hear me. How much of light you command is how much of gold you have hosted. We measure how much of God you carry by the light you command. If you are not lighted, you cannot be lifted. No, you didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear what I said. Sir, when you are lighted, you trigger the operations of eternity. You trigger the operations of the supernatural. Once you are lighted, sir, not to trigger the release of God's resources, the release of God's abundance, like the forces of light. So light conducts divine resources. Light conducts divine resources. Hear this, sir. And hear me well. If you want to go far in life, be lighted. Sir, to be lighted is to be wealthy. Mm. To be lighted is to be elevated. Mm. Sir, the evidence of a man's light is his resources. Show me your resources. I will tell you your level of light. Men that are bankrupt of light, they are bankrupt of the operations of the supernatural. Hear this, sir. Light is the activity of God that, that decides how God manifests. Light is the activity of God that decides how God manifests. God can function except by light. The devil cannot function except by darkness. Can I talk to somebody here? Darkness is the signature of Satan. Darkness is the factory of all wickedness. <laughs> Sir, if you lack light, you will have darkness in abundance. And can I shock you, sir? Darkness is the force that arrests rising. Where darkness abound, rising is truncated. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise and shine for your light is come. Every rising is sponsored by a light. 
Give me, King, give me amplified version. I want to show you a mystery. Every rising is sponsored by a light. He said, arise from the depression and from the pro prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. Shine to radiant with the glory of the Lord. Why? For your light has come. Nothing shattered despondency, catastrophe and cataclysms of life like light. Once you are lighted, you can never be victim. Nico Sata. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 13. He said light excelled above darkness. I prophesy. Because your light has come. Every oppression of darkness will be terminated. I say to be terminated. So light. Is. The riches. Is the richest treasures. That the believer has on earth. Is the richest treasure. Sir, if you lack light, you'll be full of darkness. Job chapter 19 verse 8, Job said, <laughs> he said, it is good for the soul to be with light or with knowledge. Then, but before then, I, I, I was quoting another scripture, but look at Job chapter 19 verse 8. I was actually quoting... Um, uh, Proverbs chapter 19 verse 2 but look at Job 98 he has faced up my way that I cannot pass he has set darkness on my path every stagnation is sponsored by darkness every immobility is sponsored by darkness sir you are not poor because the witches in your village are powerful you are not poor because Nigeria is too strong for you you are poor because you are not lighted sir light is light is where revelations that makes for your elevation is sustained. Darkness is the breeding ground of all satanic wickedness. Anywhere you see darkness, Satan operates. Can I talk to you, sir? Yes, sir. Then Proverbs 19 to say, it is not good for a man's soul to be without light, without knowledge. So, the word of God is the breeding ground for light. When we talk about light, what do we mean? The Bible said the tuning of milk bringeth forth butter. Again, Psalm 119 verse 135 said, The entrance of thy word giveth light. So, anytime you trouble the word long enough, the benefit of every laborious Input on the word of God is light. You don't know scripture until you are lighted. So it is the buoyancy of scripture that guarantees the steering of light. You want to walk in light, you must be a lover of the word of God. The word of God is the factory that generates light. Just like wickedness is manufactured in the factory of darkness. The word of God is, is the manufacturing plant for generating lights. Both the spoken word and the written word, when you sustain and stay long enough, the proof that you have stayed long enough in the word is the light you produce. I pray for somebody. May every area where darkness is holding you to ransom, may light shine in that area. Amen. Amen. I say may your light shine in that area. Amen. So, light is an inside acquired outside the senses. It's an inside acquired outside the senses. Light is stronger than information. Information tells you it exists. But light gives you the impetus and the momentum. To pursue until you realize it. The proof you are lighted is the action you take. Any scripture you know that is not backed with action is a proof you have not been lighted. Give it shall be given to you. You only quote it but you are not a giver. You are not lighted. Mm, you didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear what I said. Quoting scripture of healing and still be sick is a sign that you are not lighted. No you didn't hear what I said. 
The proof that you are lighter is the action you take that parts the manifestation of your actions. I pray for somebody here tonight. May you be lighted in the name of Jesus. Amen. The first thing spoken in creation that is connected to God is light. Genesis 1 verse 3. And God said, let there be light. So light is the power that brings eternity on in force. Light is the power that brings eternity into your present. Light is a force that brings all of the potency and the power of heaven to bear on your mortal activity. Sir, ma, the Bible says, Behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, cross darkness the people. You can't help it. The system will collapse. You can't help it. The government will lack what to do to bring solution. But he said, on you that fear my name, there is a light that will arise upon you. And that light will give you direction. It will give you propensity. It will give you insight. It will give you momentum to pursue your dream and realize your expectation. I pray for somebody. The sufficient light you need to shine. This week, let that light shine on your life. Amen. Let that light shine on your life. Amen. When God spoke light out of into existence, that light came out of him. First John 1 5, he is light. First Timothy 6 16, he dwells in light. So everything about God is light. Any man that fellowship in the light is fellowshipping in God. First John 1 verse 7. He said our fellowship is in the light. Anything outside light, God is not involved. I told you yesterday, anything you are not lighted for, don't do it. If you are not lighted about that man, don't marry him. If you are not lighted about that business, don't put your hand. Anything you have not commanded light is a sign that God is not inside. God can walk except by light. And I prophesy throughout your journey 2024. If I hear your amen, light will shine in your path. Light will shine in your business. Light will shine in your marriage. Light will shine in your finances. Light will shine in your business. Somebody shall let there be light. I can hear you shouting louder. Let there be light. Light is the substance of understanding. Hear me, sir. Understanding is the ability to comprehend light. I pray for somebody. When you understand, you don't stand under. It is the parameters that guarantees outstanding exploits. It's the parameters that bring things into your hand when others are crying. I prophesy the understanding to come out of any cacetic condition you have found yourself. Tonight, let that understanding be released to your spirit. Amen. Sir. Light is more than knowing the scripture. It is knowing the scripture enough to come out of any condition. That is light. It is knowing the truth enough to liberate you from every moribund condition. That is light. From today, I declare the healing you have believed God for, the finances you have believed God for, the breakthrough you have believed God for, the light to realize that manifestation. Let that light enter your spirit now. Somebody shall let there be light. Let there be light. I can't hear you. Say let there be light. Let there be light. I prophesy to somebody in your family, light will shine. Amen. A people that sit in darkness have seen a great light. Amen. I declare, let light shine on your path. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Amen. I prophesy the spirit of fear dies Amen. by the operations of light that shall be available to you. Amen. Oh, house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light. Oh. He that walk in the light has no occasion to stumble every darkness awaiting you this year by the introduction of light let that darkness disappear you will not stumble financially you will not stumble in your ministry you will not stumble in your career you will not be a victim of sickness lift up your hands say i am lighted i am lighted i cannot be a victim i cannot be a victim somebody shall yes yes Hallelujah, Anna see Hallelujah, Jehovah, Mary, 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 Mary
Number two, force to deploy to command supernatural supply is the force of sound. Sound. Our salvation is enabled by the spiritual sound we produce. Our entire essence as believers finds expression by the sound we make. Sir, it was by sound we host God in our spirit. We step into salvation by the sound we make. In this kingdom, you will never enter anything you so desire until you have made necessary sound. The sound you make determines the happenings around your life. Your life is not controlled by the economy of a nation. Your life as a kingdom believer is controlled by the kind of sound you make. Every animal has a unique sound. By their sound, we can tell their nature. The sound a lion make is different from the sound a tortoise make. The sound a tortoise make is different from the sound a mosquito makes. Am I talking to somebody here? By the sound a lion make, he secures his territory. By the sound a tiger make, he map out his territory. Can I talk to you, sir? Until you make sound, your relevance cannot be sustained. Stain in the realms of the spirit. Hosanna, Diri, Ezekiel, Igwe, Oye na Chwese, Rebi Epi, Ewo, Dimasi. spirit that will be deployed to work for you. The kind of sound you make determines the kind of spirit you will host. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, thou shall be saved. The sound we made made us born again. Made us another kind of them. Sir, by our sound we became another speaking spirit. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Uh, sounds are made by words. And every sound we make carries spirits. Mm. Hear me, sir. The kind of sound you make determine the kind of spirits you will trap. The kind of sound you make will determine the kind of possibilities you will command. If things are not working, check the sound you are making. Mm. The presence of defeat is because of the sounds of defeat. <laughs> the presence of progress is because of the sounds of progress. So words are conveyors of sounds and sounds are conveyors of spirits. Philemon 1 6 said that the communication of your faith may be effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing that is in thee. Philemon 1 6 the communication of thy faith may be effectual by the acknowledgement sir if you don't acknowledge every good things that are in thee, you will never walk into those good things. No matter how good the promises of God are to your life, until you make sound, those promises can become your leprosy. It is the sound we make that, we, that turns our prophecy to property. It is the sound that we make that turns us from, from turns our expectations to manifestation. The sounds that we make. Hear this, sir. I hear this well. In Romans chapter 15, verse 4, it says, What was previously written was written for our instructions. So that through the patience of scriptures, through patience and comfort of scripture, we may have hope. These things we are written aforetime, which we are written for our learnings, that we through the patience and comfort of scriptures may have hope. Hope for tomorrow, hope for your marriage, hope for your business is sustained by how much of scripture you are able to convert into sound. Hi. Hear this, sir. Hear this, sir. <laughs> Listeners towards God. 
and towards his word will kill your capacity to make sound. Sir, the realms of the spirit will never work for you until they hear your sound. The kind of spirit that will work for you are trapped by the sound you make. Sir, if you don't utter sound, you'll be bankrupt of spiritual assistance. If you don't utter sound, you'll be bankrupt of supernatural assistance. In 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 40, Elijah said, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Even though God said to Elijah, show yourself to Ahab, I will send rain, sir. The realm of the spirit will not deliver what is yours until they hear your sound. Elijah said, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. He went to the mountain. He put his head in between his knees and groaned, made sustained sound several times until a hand became a cloud. You have no right to see rain until you create clouds. We create clouds by our sound. Sir, in the midst of in nothingness, something came out. The servant said, Sir, nothing. He said, Go back. He said nothing. He said go back. He said nothing. But by sustained making of sound, out of nothing, something came out. I prophesy, out of nothing in that business, something powerful is coming out. I say it's coming out. I say it's coming out. I say it's coming out. He saw nothing. But by continuous sound, something came out. I pray for somebody. This year, they say nothing will work. They should wait for you. You are making some sound. You are making some sound. The most powerful religion in the world is a religion that makes sound. Islam makes sound. I've been to India eight times. Hindu makes sound. Secretism, they make sound. Am I talking to somebody here? Anyone that will get any spirit to work for him, he must make sufficient sound. Your will without your sound is a waste. Mm. Mm. I am praying in my heart. That's why nothing is working. Open your mouth and make some sounds. Sir, the possibilities that are in the realms of the spirit, they are vetoed by the sound you make. Mm. Sir, Sounds are creators of seasons. The sound you make determines the kind of season you will command. Season is a duration of time in which certain things must happen. Season can be lifetime. Season can be 10 years. Season can be 5 years. Dry season is a function of dry sound. Rainy season is a function of right speaking. How forcible are right words? Jesus said you to walk on me. Every season is battered by sound. When the day of Pentecost was come, it was another season. The Bible said sound introduced that season. Oh, there was a sound from heaven. That sound hit planet earth and turned natural men to men of sound. They became men that spoke until by the spirit that gave them utterance. Sir, 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 sir. The kind of sound you interact with in the realms of the spirit is what gives you relevance and voice on the face of the earth and determine the kind of sound you will make here on earth. These revelations are new, but I'm trusting God to, down, to download the service. I pray for somebody. Every sound you have been making in the last five years, I came to take delivery of that sound. Amen. I came to take delivery of that sound. Amen. No matter what you're going through, to the contrary, make some sound. Your life is not ruled by what is happening around you. Your life is not ruled by the economy of your nation. Your life is ruled by the sound you make. If you can sustain a sound if you can make a relevant sound it's a matter of time the sound will swallow the happenings around yes, sir. hear me sir anytime god wants to bring you into a new season he will demand for a sound even the introduction of the dispensation of the rapture is going to be empowered by sound he said for the lord shall come like a trump 
For the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. That will introduce another error. Every error in the realms of the spirit is battered by sound. Is somebody hear what I'm saying here? You are not permitted to see it until you have said it sufficiently. I pray for somebody. How you will look like in December. How you will look like in July. Is by the kind of sound you make in January, February and March. If I can hear your sound. I can see your glorious December. He said blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound alarm in my holy mountains. If you don't blow the trumpet, there are things that can't shift for you. Sir, your battle will be judged by the sound you make. Your victory will be secured by the sound you make. Even blessing comes by sound. Judgment comes by sound. The judgment of Jericho was executed by the sound Joshua made. He said you shall go around Jericho six days. On the seventh day, seven times. And on the seventh time, make some sound. Some walls can crumble until you make some sound. Am I communicating to somebody here? The Lord said to Moses in Numbers chapter 6 and verse 26. He said to bless Israel, you must make some sound. He says blessings don't come by just blessing people. It comes by making sound. He said in Numbers chapter 6 verse 26. He said thou shalt bless the children of Israel in like wise. Look at from verse 24. From verse 24 you shall bless the children of Israel in like wise. Okay let's go 23. 23 so, so that we look at it. it. These scriptures are jumping in my way. Speak unto Aaron and to his son saying on this wise you shall bless the children of Israel. How do you bless him? Say it unto them. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Blessing enters into our life by the sound we make. Today, I join my faith with the bishop of this house. Uh, I make a sound for you in 2024. Yeah. When others are crying, you shall be blessed. Yeah. You shall be favored. Yeah. You shall be lifted. You shall be on top. You shall not go down. Somebody say, I make some sound. I make some sound. Take your seat. Sounds are not just deciders of seasons and dispensation, but sounds are creators. They are creators. They can create anything you want. Sounds creates. Sir, sound can create a season. Mm. Jesus went to the wilderness bishop. For 40 days, he created a Satanless season. And the Bible said, and the devil lived him for a season. What kind of sound did he make that showed the devil and put him out of sight in the life of Jesus? He made sufficient sound. And the devil left him for a season. Which means for his entire ministry he had a Satanless season. He operated on earth as if Satan was on holiday. He casted out devils like drinking coke. Because he created a sound that stopped the devil from aggressively attacking his ministry. Sir. Your ministry has no future until you make sufficient sound. Um, Every day you are making negative sound over your business. This is my business, they die you. This is my business. My friend, you are making sounds. The realm of the spirit will never give to you until they hear your sound. If all the sound you make, it is not working. It is not working. Get ready. Your life will begin to dwindle and begin to go down. But if every morning you wake up, you say, my lines are falling onto me in oh. pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. When you make that sound sufficient enough. I cannot do it by my son. I cannot do it by my son. Spirit take over, Jesus take over, Spirit take over, Jesus take over, Spirit.
Different from other people's experience, you must make the right sound. Sir, sound are not only creators, sounds are instruments of transportation. Anywhere you want to reach, it is sound that carries you. Can I talk to you, sir? Where the destination you desire is made possible by the sound you make. It's sir, sir, you can't be talking small and end up in plenty as a destination, it's not possible. You can be talking as a popaneer and end up a millionaire by the kind of sound you make. Can I talk to you, sir? Every sound you make transports you. It's a transport system. It changes your life. I, told, I don't know if I told you here October when I came. Many years ago, UK refused me visa four times. Every time I receive their correspondence, I will shout, London, here I come. London, you need me. London, you need my ministry. London, here I come. London, here I come. Today I've been going to London for over 20 years. I have their 10 years visa as we speak right now. The land opened for me. I refuse to judge my, my life by the situation I found myself. I made sufficient sound until London opened. America refused me visa three times. I kept saying, America, here I come. America, here I come. America, here I come. Today I go to I visited almost, almost 28 states of America. How did it work? By my speakings, by my sound. Can I talk to you, sir? Can I talk to you, sir? Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Uh... When I entered Abuja, I made sound for 30 days. I removed my shoe. I put my feet on the ground. I said, Father, <laughs> when you were sharing Abuja, I was not there. You gave some men of God five services, four services, three services. Now that I am here, we share the land. <laughs> Give me my own portion. And that is how thousands were caught for me. To, to take my portion in life and destiny. I don't used to have open teeth. My teeth is gone like never before. But I sat in classroom with somebody who has an open teeth. Every time I looked at her, I said, I receive your open teeth. Father, I have open teeth. Every morning I stand in the wind, in the mirror. I say, my teeth is open in Jesus' name. I have an open teeth in Jesus' name. I open, have an open teeth in Jesus' name. Within three months of sustained sound, my teeth open. Even if you are blind, you will not have an open teeth. the substance of things hopeful and the evidence of sin not sin. Sir, if you want to command substance in life, you must make sound. Romans chapter 4 verse 17 he said how did he call those things that were dead? How does he call those things that men gave up? He said as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before whom he believed, even God, someone say even God. Even God. He will never have it until he says it. He will never have it until he has his, it makes some sound. Even God that called those things that be not as though they were. Sir, so you don't have to see it, just call it. Elisha said, by this time tomorrow. A bag of rice will be sold for 1,000 naira. But Jamila, of chief of staff, told the president, even if God opens the windows of heaven, it is not possible. The man said, you shall see it. 
but you will not eat it because the source is not natural to pull anything from that realm you must make sufficient declaration sufficient speaking is required the kind of sound you make the coming kind of harvest you will command can I talk to you sir yes. Elijah said I hear the sound of the abundance of rain show me anywhere you see miracles it was said how did Abraham enter his miracle he count not the deadness of Sarah's womb not his body that was now dead but was what giving glory to God and it was counted unto him for righteousness Abraham broke barrenness by sustained sound tonight I declare if I hear your sound even if it is not your turn it shall become your turn to have it 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 Lift up your hands and shout fire, ya, 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 ya. Agaimi kosiyo wende loa, abu makunere. Asime gaimi kosiyo wende loa, abu makunere. Ibo kunere, ibo kunere, ya bona abo. Ibo kunere, ibo kunere. The sound we make compels the invisible to be visible, the intangible to become tangible. Uh. No money in your pocket, but you can end up modificated by the sound you make. That's why every woman that is pregnant, she does ultrasound. Do you know why? Ultrasound enables you to see the invisible visible. Ultrasound makes you to see what is not naked to the physical eyes. They put something in the womb of the mother and begin to rub the womb. Somebody say ultrasound. Uh, I don't know why they call it ultrasound. They should have called it ultra picture or ultra video. But they call it ultrasound. And by that ultrasound they make, they will see the baby in the, the television. And you can tell whether it's a twist or it's a female or it's a boy or whatever. Whether they are triplet or quadrant, you will see it there. Sir, anytime we make sound, it's a spiritual ultrasound. It's there. It's just a matter of time. If you can say it, you can see it. Yes. If you can say it, you can have it. If you can say it, you can manifest it. If you can say it, it will work for you. Lift up your hands, shout, I receive it. So, supernatural supply is made possible by the sound we make. Sir, by what sound you make can cause you to see what others can't see. By the sound you make, you can touch what others can't touch. By the sound you make, you can create powers when others are powerless. By the sound you make. Job 13, 19, Job said, if I hold my tongue, I will give up the ghost. Sir, even your biological introduction into this earth was made possible by sound. You are said to be dead until you make sound. Am I communicating here? Am I communicating here? When the child lands here and is quiet, the doctor will use one finger. Give him on his bum bum. If he keeps quiet, give him second one. If he keeps quiet, he turns the finger to three. Give him the third one. If he keeps quiet, four fingers. Bam. If he keeps quiet, he must get the five. He must get the five slap. You give him another one. Pwah. Then you shine. Nya, nya, nya. They say, welcome. Your biological introduction to this earth was made possible by sound. Hey. To survive in this life, you must make sound. How come you arrive by sound and you refuse to sustain your destiny by sound? You refuse to sustain your, your future by sound? How come you came by sound and now where it matters most, you are quiet? You are Yahweh!
anything this night. Don't, don't forget this one. A soundless man is a dead man. Every morning you wake up, shout, I'm alive. I'm alive. Let your bed, your chair, your TV hear your voice. I know you didn't eat before you slept. But when you wake up, you will shout, I'm alive. For my lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. My rain shall teach me cancer in night season. If you can make a sustained sound. What was lost will be released to you. By sound, we transmit God into our situation. By sound, sir, we transport paranormal articles into physical reality. By sound, sir, we bring God into our mortal activity. By the sound, we make Shunammite woman. Is it well? She said, it shall be well. Be well. You carry me when some carry their car. Oh, Kayada, you feel me love when some feed the car. You fight for me, oh, oh, when some fight for the car. The Kayako Palate, Jesus, I, you know that he used me play. Prayer is a flow of sound. Tongues is the highest communication of sound in the realms of the spirit. For he that speaketh in tongues speaketh not unto men. Yes, sir. But unto God. How be it in the spirit? He speaketh mystery. The sound of tongues is the sound that creates things that we want to see. Sir, if you don't know what to do, rattle in tongues. Oh. You didn't hear what I said. Oh. Somebody say rattle in tongues. Oh. Rattle his song. There was this man of God I know very well. I and him lived in one house. There was this lady, he likes her, but the lady doesn't like him. The lady likes the man that hosted us in his house. And the man has four cars, Bishop. The man was prospering. But every 3 a.m., this is my friend, we start tonguing till 5 a.m. And all he was calling the girl's name. One hour in tonguing, he will call her name. One hour in tonguing, he will call her name. Then I called the man with four cars and said, oh boy, leave that girl alone if you don't want to die. He said, what do you mean? I said, the kind of sound this man is making can kill even Saddam Hussein, can kill George Bush and kill uh, Trump. He said, hey. I said, don't say I didn't tell you. When Nemesis starts on your business and your life begins to drown, don't say I didn't tell you. This guy sleeps by my bed. The kind of tongue he sustained, they are not normal tongues. No, 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 no. Three hours because of one girl. I advise the guy, say, run for your life. So he heard my advice and ran for his life. Since the lady didn't know who to marry next, so she married my friend, the man of God. My friend continued to tongue. I, one of those tonguing was the kind of resources I need. To handle this lady and the ministry God will give to me, I collect it. As we speak today, my friend is a multi billionaire in ministry. That other man became so broke that he didn't have car. He fell into a situation where they took everything, nothing. So he came to my house to see me. He said, things are not the way they are. Help me. I said, my friend, you remember that your former girlfriend? You remember that man? I told you, leave his wife. I said, go and meet him. He's rich. He will give you good car. He said, hey, what do I do? I said, go and stay in their house. Don't leave until they buy you a car. So he went to their house. On the third day, my friend said, what do you want? Say a car. He took him to the car shop. Bought him a car of 8.8 .8 million. And gave it to him. And gave him some money to start life all over again. Sir, when the lady was confused, when that man walked, I told the lady, listen. Marry this one. He may not have anything. But the sound he makes. Oh. Ah. The sound. The sound he makes. If you, Listen. If once I see you a pastor. I can tell you your future. By the sound you make. 
every day. <laughs> Bini is very hard. Bini, <laughs> you need, even the archbishop can make it. Bini, Bini, man of God. Yeah, I don't know how you people are spending money. Bini, 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 Bini. Ah, ah. It is not working. It is not working. My friend, get ready to have an ionic experience. Ah. Uh, but when you wake up in the morning and say, this land is working. Uh, yeah. hey, my life is working. Yes, sir. My business is working. Yes, sir. Take me in the desert. I will bring water out of the uh, desert. Yeah. Anything I touch will prosper. Yes, sir. Sir, if you say it long enough. Hey. Hey. When you say it long enough, your life will tilt. Sir, <laughs> we have gotten to that point in Nigeria. God will separate true Christians from fake Christians. Yes, sir. If you don't know how to speak right, uh, this yeah. government can. There's some news you hear, your heart will sink. You take bag of rice, 99,000, I say, ah, who will be saved? But when you look at 99,000, you tell them, no matter the economy of the jungle, the lion cannot eat grass. Uh, yeah. no. If we've dollar is 5,000, I will build houses, I will buy cars. Yes, sir. It is well with me. My lines are falling out to me in pleasant yeah. places. Sir, in this kingdom, the currency we buy, our supply is not Naira, it's not dollars, it's sound. You are rich in the spirit to the extent of your sound bank. If your sound bank in the spirit is small, your life will be reduced. Hear me, sir. You may not have anything in this earth, but have big mouth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, no, you didn't hear what I ah. said. Somebody say, Have big mouth. Have, have big mouth. mouth. No, no, no. Shandala managa. Oh, Look at your neighbor. Say, Neighbor. The next time I see you, the next time I see you, I will buy you a car. I will, I will buy, buy you a you car. car. Mm. Abraham's son said, Father, I see the wood. I see the fire. Where is the sacrifice? A man of sound. He looked at him in Genesis 22. He said, the Lord shall provide for himself a lamb. Sir, by the sound Abraham made, invisible animal became visible. It was deposited by a spirit, but it became visible for mortal men to harvest. Sir, everything God has for you is intangible. It is the communication of your declarations that turns intangible substance to feelable and touchable manifestations. Sir, your car is there. Your house is there. Your children is there. Everything you want to have, God is not going to provide. He has finished providing it. But to have it, you must say it. Because the location of his sayings at the location of his manifestation. I pray for somebody here. I will see. If I hear your yes, yes. everything you are looking for will enter your hand. Yes. Yes, yes. It will enter your hand. Amen. 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 Somebody shout, I make a sound. I make, I make a, a sound. sound. Hear this, sir. I... Our sound is a mystery ringtone. That alerts heaven of our human intention. Our sound is a mysterious heavenly ringtone. That make heaven to know that a man has an intention. Only men of sound can design seasons. Only men of sound can maximize the agenda of heaven on earth. Only men of sound can bring the interpretation of their dream into physical reality. Only men of sound can traffic with intangible substance and make them tangible. Sir, no matter what you think you know in God, until you make sufficient sound, you will be a victim all the days of your life. Can I talk to you, sir? Yes, sir. You must fix your life to a point where you must make sufficient sounds. One of my daughters, I begin to round up. Went to, I prophesied to her last year, October. I said to her, I saw you in the streets of America and I spoke into her life. After service, she walked to me and said, Papa, how did you know? In November, I have an appointment to, for an interview. Can you pray for me? Because I think this is my prophecy coming through. So, she sold everything. She settled her children. 
because she believed the prophecy I spoke. She went to that embassy in November and they rejected her. She called me on the phone, Papa, I want to die. Let me just die. I said, shut up. Here we don't talk dead. What's the problem? He said, they have refused me visa. I say, it's visa they refuse you, not America they refuse you. He said, what do you mean, sir? I have sold everything, even the house. I have sold it so that I could travel. I don't want to come back. I said, I know. Did I not tell you I saw you in America? He said, yes. I said, apply again. He said, Papa, but you can't apply until three months or six months. I said, apply in December, my friend. Apply. He said, they won't have a date. I said, apply. I heard the voice of the Lord said, apply. He said, but you need six months. I said, you don't need six months. The things of the spirit are foolishness. Apply. So she applied. They gave her a date in January. When she was going, I called her. I said, two weeks to your interview. Come. She came. I said, what? He said, Papa, I'm here. I said, every morning, afternoon, night, just be shouting, America, here I come. America, here I come. America, here I come. Speak in tongues. America, here I come. On the 14th day, she went to the interview. The man said, I just like you. Come and take your visas. Uh, now, as we speak right now, she is in his team. When she appears, I say, Papa, look at me. Prophecy fulfilled. I say, yes. God will always bring your prophetic word, your invisible word, into physical reality. If only you can sustain it with a speaking. Mm. Tell your neighbor, it is well with me. It is well with me. Tell your neighbor, I'm not broke. I'm not broke. I'm not broke. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Listen. As simple as these things are, they are the greatest undoing of many believers. We pray for you, lay hands on you, put you in a drum of olive oil, until you look like plantain. Your condition refuses to change. Because when we tell you something here, you go out and say, let's tell the truth. Let's say the truth. Uh, let's say the truth. Uh, keep church one side. Keep Bible one side. And this one, not truth with the talk. Forget about Bible. That's why your life is looking yamarais, scatterais, looking banza, looking like a lemon juice. Am I talking to somebody here? Because you have refused to sustain your confession. Now, I told you, everybody, shout, I will buy you a car, shout, I will be rich. We are finished, you. The enter bus. You price pure water. How much pure water? 15 naira. Ah! Hey, well, these people want to kill us. Tinibu God, we punish you and your grandfather. You see? We poor people, we don't know what. My friend, no matter what we said, you were lifted in church, but when you went out, you spoke until you came down. Ah. No believer is designed to be poor. We are designed to be rich by our speakers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lift up your hands. Uh, I pray for somebody. I will see. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., we shall be here. It's called Deliverance Festivity. We are going to look at the loopholes. Anything resisting you from the womb before you were born, we will address it. But first, your Christian faith must be intact. Then tomorrow, another of my dangerous son will be ministering in the night. Very brutal. So this meeting is packed, back to back. Your life can never remain the same again. Somebody shout, hey! 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 Say, I'm alive! I'm alive! Shout, I cannot die! I, I cannot, cannot die! die. Somebody told me, my father is dead. They just say he had stroke. He has died. Papa, he has died. The father didn't die. Your father did not die. I said, go to the hospital. He's alive. And when they went, it was the same father that drove the car back home the following day. They kidnapped one of my sons. The kidnapper called me. He said, if you don't bring 20 million away. I said, if they burn you well, touch him. If they burn you well, touch him. The day you touch him, your family, your grandfather, your father, your children, all will die. Except I didn't carry oil. That's how they release him. Without paying copper, my mouth is sufficient to give me my result. Yes, sir. I'm rubber. Put gun on my head. Say, I should lie down. I say, a man of God doesn't lie down. Say, <laughs> so shoot him. I say, you can't shoot me. And the arm robbers were caught. 
Sir, I have discovered anything you want in this kingdom, you must say it. Your money, your car, your house, everything you need, you must say it. The final one is one of the most difficult of all. To command supernatural supply, you must be a believer of giving. This one, sir, your confession, your sound may be right. You may be lighted. But if you are not a giver in this kingdom, you cannot command supplies. He took from the small boy five loaves of bread, two fishes to multiply his destiny. Anytime God will bless you, he will take from you. God loved the world, but he had to give his son in exchange. To own it, you must sow for it. Giving is an internal principle of the kingdom. It doesn't matter how much, how many pastors are bastardizing. It doesn't matter how many people on the internet are fighting it. The truth is the church came this far by our giving. When we were church rat, nobody talked about us. They were mocking us. We gave to a point that we prospered. Now they are attacking the very thing that is making us great. Don't be deceived. A few years ago, when we came into ministry, they called us mushroom church. They called us church rats. They called us all manner of name. We began to sustain our life with continuous giving. And we rose into relevance. Such that the only reason why Nigeria has not been Islamized is not the other denomination but the Pentecostals that God has blessed. It is our prosperity that is humiliating these wicked people in this nation. Oh. We came this far by our giving. Do not remove the Asian landmark. I'm not saying this for you to give. I'm saying this so that you make it a lifestyle. Yeah. Sir, anytime you need something, sow for it. Yes, sir. Because your seed gives your expectation a body for it to arrive. If you are not a giver, you will be in church, you will be heavily useful, but earthly useless. You continue to be a victim of financial captivities until you learn to make exchange. Giving is a personal light. It's not what every, any pastor can cajole you. You must make it as an individual assignment to continue to sow for it. Give a portion to seven, a portion to eight for you know not what evil shall come upon the face of the earth. They have attacked pastors and attacked us to a state of fear that no longer we want to talk about giving so that the people can continue to rise. That's why we are seeing multiple challenges today in the body of Christ in the last two to three years like never before. But because we are removing the ancient landmarks that will make us great upon the face of the earth. Ask Bishop, he came by giving. Ask my friend, he came this far by giving. Ask me, I came this far by giving. Even the ones that are fighting giving, they came that far by the givings of their yesterday. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh. Grace never fights tight. Grace only tell you that 10% is too small. Mm. Mm. In grace, we give all. We don't give 10. Mm. Everything he asks us, we give all. We don't give 10. Stand on your feet. The next time you see a battle, carry a battle seed and plant it. Then make sufficient sound. I, then look for a light where you are most afflicted and stay on that light by making sound. My friend, one million witches multiplied times 15, there are too few to stop you. Your rising becomes imperative, your rising becomes a necessity. By the time I see you another freedom or see you in October, the Lord shall make you 10,000 times more. Amen. Spirit of smallness, I command it to die by fire. Yeah. Lift up your hands, say, hey! Hey! I make a sound tonight. I make a sound tonight. Now, I want you to look at that area of your life that Satan said you cannot be free. You will make open your mouth and make some sound. 
Open your mouth and make some sound. Who say you can't marry? Begin to declare. Who say you can't have your baby? Begin to make some sound. Who say you cannot be modificator? Begin to make some sound. Who say you cannot be empowered? Begin to make some sound. Who say you cannot rise? Begin to make some sound. Make some sound. Make some sound. Make some declaration. Speak out. Speak out. Jesus name. Lift up your hands. From the front to the back. It doesn't matter what anybody has said. If I hear your amen, every negative utterance against your life is reversed. Amen! Any speaking in your atmosphere that has beckoned on negative powers to fight against your finances, your prosperity, your increase, your modification. If I hear your amen, that power perish without mercy. Amen! Doors of employment and make sufficient sound. Yes. This is the year you, you will have a job. Ah. You will be modificated. Yes. That woman that is looking for a child, I command you now. Yes. Be pregnant as we speak in the name of Jesus. Yes. I see 59 visas. Anyone who has been rejected in any form or the other. Right now, let visa enter your passport. Yes. Let visa enter your passport. Yes. Let visa enter your passport. 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 I prophesy jobs. I receive. I prophesy open doors. I receive. I prophesy opportunities. I receive. I prophesy breakthroughs. I receive. I'm moving from a tenant to a landlord. I receive. From a nobody to a somebody. I receive. From singlehood to marry. I receive. 2024 yes, sir. will be your year of greatest testimony. Amen. Shall be a year of harvesting. Or usual breakthroughs. Or usual promotions. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 2024. Yes, sir. You are unstoppable. Yes, sir. You will advance. Amen. You will multiply. Amen. You will increase. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever God has for you that has been trapped in the realm of the spirit. I command it, let it become your reality. Amen. Begin to pull it, begin to pull it from the spirit realm. Call it forth. Call it forth. 